My name is Piet Ost, I'm a radiation oncologist from Ghent, Belgium, mainly focusing on prostate cancer. The STOM trial is a randomized phase 2 trial, randomizing patients between observation or metastasis-directed therapy for patients with a recurrence following primary uh, treatment. So the patients had a biochemical recurrence following localized treatment. At time of biochemical recurrence, they got a PET-CT call line in the time, and then we went after these metastases with radiotherapy or surgery in the experimental arm. So here at ESCOG, we uh, updated our results now with five-year data, actually confirming our primary endpoint that in one of, out of three patients at five years, they're still free from systemic therapy, while the comparator in the observation arm, that was only 8%. So we were able to confirm those data. When looking at harder endpoints like time to CRPC free survival of overall survival, there was no difference in the intent to treat population with actually a very durable survival in all patients. So these people really have a long life expecting. That's very important to realize. Um, in the per protocol analysis, actually, there is a significant benefit from metastasis directed therapy for CRPC free survival as compared to observation. So I think when the data will mature, we will maybe have updated results that we also see a benefit there, but it's too early to tell. I think the, the ultimate goal would have indeed be to cure patients, but I think it's a bit of an illusion. All these patients have metastatic disease, and it would be very rare for systemic therapy or localized treatment or even a combination to actually talk about cure. So in my opinion, I think that's not the optimal goal. I think the optimal goal will be to be able to postpone progression for as long as possible. So now we're five years down the line, and we see that one in three of the patients is still free from that progression. But are these patients cured? I'm not that sure. Maybe we will, we will be able to do that in 10 to 15%, but we will need at least 10 to 15 years follow-up to be able to show that patients are actually cured. But I think the, the chances are pretty slim if we go only for radiotherapy. Maybe if we combine with uh, uh, some drugs, it might be an, uh, an option, but I think it will be an illusion. So at, at the time being, in the STOM trial, we applied choline PET-CT, so the question is, what happens when you apply for a more um, sensitive imaging now, for example, like PSMA, PET-CT? Are these results that different? And I think the answer is no. The only difference we will have is that we will pick up metastasis even earlier. So there is a bit of a time gap in between when you see disease on coline or on PSMA, and that may be, might be a couple of months, but that's about it. The pattern of relapse, the location of the metastasis, will often still be the same. It will be a lymph node and bone dominant relapse pattern. So the sensitivity of the imaging at this time point won't change that. But it might be that we have more patients that earlier on are eligible for, uh, for example, SBRT or a surgical resection. The thing is, we still don't know if we should go for that. So at this time point, technology moves faster than the evidence. And that is always the problem we have. If we need to wait for mature data, we will be waiting for 10 years, but technology doesn't wait. It keeps on refreshing and refreshing. With every iteration, we are more sensitive, but the question is, does that help the patient? And should we act on that more sensitive information? I'm not sure we always should, and that's the current problem we have. Well, actually, what we see across the world that there are numerous new trials starting. So it, it, it's almost impossible even to try to summarize them, but it, it's good to see that the number of trials starting in Europe and in the, in the US that they all try different approaches. So some of them are going for SBRT in combination with one of the novel drugs. Other goes for combination with, for example, radium. I've seen some trial designs where they want to combine radiotherapy with lutetium PSMA, one of the novel um, interesting agents that is coming up. Um, in Belgium and, and mainland Europe, we are actually starting a specific trial with a radiotherapy question for looking at nodal recurrences in the pelvis. And another one will start with darlutamide. So there's a, a lot of different, different approaches. Most of them are phase two trials that are running, but some of them have embarked on larger phase three trials. But it will take at least five to 10 years before we see the early results and definitive results will at least take us 10 years.